Full Dive VR. As explained in the first video in this series, Full Dive VR is totally immersion in the game world, being totally immersed in a virtual reality, as best displayed in other mediums such as Sword Art Online and Excel World. Well, how close are we? Let's dive in. Link start. When we picture Full Dive VR, we don't imagine users staring into a screen. In perfect execution, Full Dive would see us living, playing, and interacting using only our minds. Well, some older technology in association with other efforts may be the way towards that goal. As the name implies, the Lucid Dreamer is a device that allows users to take control of their dreams once it detects the user entering REM stages of sleep. Once triggered, users are able to manipulate, control, and interact with their dreams as if it was their own virtual world limited only by their imagination. That's all well and good if you want a single player experience. But how about stepping it up for multiplayer? The developments being made by Toyohashi University of Technology may be the way forward. They're working on a device capable of reading a person's mind by detecting their brainwaves. Their efforts are intended to allow people with locked-in syndrome to communicate. However, the applications in the future could provide the necessary key for full dive to work as most people would picture it. Much like the technology being studied at Toyohashi University of Technology, Elon Musk's new project, codenamed Neuralink, hopes to bridge the gap between human and computer communication. With electrode implants dubbed Neural Lace Technology, Neuralink would allow for the uploading and downloading of thoughts between the two. The WSJ reports this technology could be used to improve the cognitive function and is being studied to hopefully alleviate symptoms of chronic medical disorders such as depression and even Parkinson's. Next, and most likely to reach consumers in the near future, is a high-resolution mixed reality headset by Vario. With current HMDs displaying around 1.2 megapixels, the Vario HMD boasts a massive jump to 70 megapixels. While the previously mentioned technologies will render screens obsolete, the advancements made in these displays will give us a much improved, more realistic viewing experience in the meantime. As mentioned in the previous videos, all of these technologies are not a collaborative effort, but they could all eventually work as one to get us that much closer to full dive. What are your thoughts on these developments? Do you think this is a step in the right direction? Have you heard of any other tech that you would like to see us cover? Leave a comment below. If you haven't seen part one of this series, click the thumbnail. If you like what you saw and want to see more, click that like button and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.